Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our fifth weekly video as we're going to outline the table of content in our next slide. And now to outline the table of contents, we're going to start off with personal narrative, which is a sign of a follow-up plan. And then we're going to move on to various types of nouns regarding abstract and concrete nouns. And then we're going to move on to a text uh, aligning first and second reading. Lastly, we're going to talk about compound sentences regarding syntax and use of words. Starting off with the personal narrative, we're going to be basically listing a list of reminders that basically you have to have in mind before we write uh, or start writing a personal narrative. And the list of reminders actually, uh, you know, start off with uh, using first person narrative while writing. So I, me, you, us, and mine. So because it's a personal narrative, we would prefer actually to use a first person uh, point of view. Again, we have to use very clear descriptions. So how did I feel? How did it basically look? How did it sound? How did it taste or even smell? So we have to engage our senses when writing the personal narrative. And lastly, don't forget that we have to use transitional words in order for us to convey cohesive, uh, basically, um, you know, and, you know, fluent thoughts and ideas at the same time. Now, whenever we think about types of nouns, we're going to think about concrete and abstract nouns. So concrete nouns are tangible physical objects or things that you can perceive with your senses, whether it be a tree, book, car. However, with abstract nouns, on the other hand, they represent ideas, emotions, and concepts that can never be physically touched. So whenever we're talking about the concept of love, freedom, or happiness, we talk about concepts that can never be touched. Concrete nouns generally, in summary, refer to material world. However, abstract nouns actually deal with tangible uh, aspects of life. Now we're going to start off with close and first reading regarding uh, basically the work of Michaela de Prince. Now Michaela de Prince was an American ballet dancer and author. She gained recognition for her inspiring journeys from a difficult childhood, where she was an orphan during the Civil War, to becoming a successful ballerina. Now, um, Dee Prince's story has been the subject of documentaries and books, and she has danced with a lot of well-known ballet companies, including the Dutch National Ballet at the Dance Theatre of Harlem. Now, her story has been used, um, and actually she has used her platform to advocate for diversity and inclusion in the world of ballet and even arts. Now, after being done with the first reading, we're going to move on to deep reading, close reading the taxes. We're going to be introduced to the author's actually own choice of words, repetition, and point of view. Um, and that are highlighted and concerned in some of the questions that are, what inner qualities and personal strengths do you think allow the word orphan to persist in pursuing actually her dreams of becoming a ballerina despite facing tremendous adversity? And now we're moving on to basically the last part, which is the most fundamental aspect of English grammar, that is compound sentences. Now they are formed by combining two or more independent clauses that are complete thoughts of basically sentences. However, we combine them using coordinating conjunctions. Now the aim of our lesson is to recognize and write compound sentences that are two simple complete sentences of thoughts that can be conjoined through using conjunctions, linking words, and uh, fanboys. And in that lesson, we're going to have a lot of interactive, basically, tasks and activities regarding life sheets, regarding scavenger hunts, and uh, basically a lot of videos that would spot the compound sentences and would basically help you out to understand more about the structure and use in grammar. And um, lastly, we're going to focus on actually writing the sentence, the idea of producing the sentence using uh, compound, basically, conjunctions. Lastly, we're going to define the word biography and we're going to mention a lot of characteristics. And actually, it's going to be our task for our next class. So, um, can't wait to share your ideas and thoughts in class. See you in our next class. Bye bye.